But we begin, we begin this Saturday night at 6 o'clock with new details about the man accused of shooting and injuring a Phoenix police officer near 7th Avenue and Broadway on Friday. Good evening, I'm Jonathan McCall. I'm Rachel Cole, Team 12's Jade Cunningham, joining us now live from Phoenix Police Headquarters in downtown Phoenix with more details on what we're learning about the suspect in this investigation. Jade. Yeah, good evening. You know, it was just over 24 hours ago when 29-year-old Joseph Lopez was taken into police custody. Authorities telling us that he has since been booked on multiple charges, including attempted murder. Now, yesterday, right before 5 o'clock or so, our Sky 12 cameras actually caught Lopez crawling up through a hole in the roof of a home with officers nearby. He soon surrendered, ending a nearly eight-hour manhunt. Lopez found just a short distance from where he's accused of shooting a Phoenix police officer and what the department is again calling an ambush type attack. We went back to the neighborhood today and we spoke with people who live there and who were kind of around the area there at the time. They told us about how terrifying it all was to see play out in front of their eyes. One man telling us that officers at one point just was banging on his door. He just saying that this whole thing was just completely surreal. I opened the door and I was, you know, like, uh, uh, like, what are we going to do, you know? And so um, he's like, can we go to the backyard? And I was like, yeah, of course you can go to the backyard. And so I said, it's open and everything. And then I told him that there is a, um, a, like a shop to look back there and about there was a shed right there. I wasn't sure what was going on, but if that was. So all these other um, SWAT team guys start showing up. Well, the officer who was shot in this was shot in the hip and she is recovering at a local hospital at this time. She is also expected to survive. Now, Lopez actually served time in prison here in Arizona and was released almost 11 months ago. We're going to take a closer look at his criminal background coming up tonight on 12 News at 10. Reporting live in Phoenix, Jay Cunningham, 12 News. All right, Jay, thank you for that update.